ever pondered on the concept of historical accuracy? Ever questioned the truthfulness of the tales and narratives passed down through generations? Today, we delve into an intriguing issue, a phenomenon that is alarming historians and researchers alike. We explore the narrative of historical falsification, a trend that has become quite apparent in Azerbaijan. The origins of this issue trace back to the state-supported historical studies in Azerbaijan. Critics argue that these studies aim to glorify the Albanians as the supposed ancestors of the Azerbaijanis, using history to justify territorial disputes with Armenia. The objectives include rooting the Azerbaijanis in Azerbaijani territory and cleansing it of Armenian heritage. These allegations come from Armenian specialists, Russian historians like Viktor Schnirelman, Anatoly Yakubson, Vladimir Zakharov, Pavel Basharov, Patimat Takneva, Shamil Shikaliev, and Iranian historian Hassan Javadi. American historians Philip Cole and George Bernaudian also voice similar concerns. According to researcher Shirin Hunter, the distorted understanding of the true nature of cultural, ethnic, and historical ties between Iran and Azerbaijan, among many Azerbaijanis, is connected with the legacy inherited by the modern Azerbaijani Republic from the Soviet practice of historical falsifications. These historical myths include the notion of the existence in ancient times of a unified Azerbaijani state that included most of the territory of present-day northern Iran, which was divided into two parts as a result of a Russian-Iranian conspiracy. Critics argue that the Azerbaijani government's support of these historical narratives serves political purposes. By manipulating historical narratives, Azerbaijan aims to strengthen its claims to disputed territories, especially in the context of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Critics suggest that the emphasis on Albanian heritage is an attempt to establish a historical link and legitimize territorial demands. Despite these claims, Azerbaijan maintains its stance, asserting that it is rectifying historical inaccuracies introduced during the Soviet era. The Azerbaijani government claims that promoting Albanian heritage is a genuine attempt to revive a forgotten historical legacy, highlighting the cultural richness of the region. In discussing historical narratives, it is important to acknowledge the complex dynamics and interpretations, taking into account the diverse viewpoints in the region. The debate around historical falsification underscores the intersection of politics, identity, and territorial disputes highlighting the need for nuanced analysis and open dialogue. To summarize, the controversy revolves around alleged state-supported historical falsification in Azerbaijan, with critics claiming it serves political purposes and justifies territorial disputes. The Azerbaijani government, however, asserts it is merely correcting inaccuracies and reviving forgotten historical heritage. The importance of multiple viewpoints, nuanced analysis, and open dialogue in such complex discussions cannot be understated. Remember, history is not just about the past, it shapes our present and future too. It is our responsibility to approach it with care and diligence.